What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm the Scarlet Karibo and today we are going to break down the Unchained You Bell deck. We are going to talk about the main strategies of the deck and exactly how to play it. So, Phantom Nightmare is coming out next week and with it we have a lot of new You Bell cards. Back in the day we only had Terror Incarnate and Ultimate Nightmare and honestly these three cards were really bad. But moving forward we're about to get Spirit of You Bell, Samsara Regenerating Lotus, Nightmare Pain, and Eternal Favorite. These are all main deck cards that are going to round out the Ubel strategy, and they're all going to be focused on special summoning out this one extra deck card, Ubel the Guardian of Love. So, in the anime, Ubel was all about using super polymerization, and that's kind of what this deck is kind of based on. It's not only about summoning the main boss monster, but it's going to be a huge portion of the deck being able to super poly out your guys. Now, this monster needs one Ubel card, as well as it needs any other number of effect monsters on the field to fuse. And we know Super Poly, we can use our opponent's monsters to fuse with. So as long as we have a Ubel on the field, we can go ahead and use Super Poly, fuse off the Ubel with any other number of monsters your opponent controls to summon out this guy. It's gonna burn 500 for each material, that's probably the least important effect. But the most important effect is gonna be the shared effect with a lot of the Ubel monsters. All of the Ubels from level 0, level 1, level 2, level 3, all the way up to the fusion, all of the Ubels, they can't be destroyed by battle, you're not going to take any battle damage involving attacks with this card. As well, starting from Terror Incarnate and Ultimate Nightmare, if the battle happens, the monster's going to end up getting destroyed at the end phase. This one is going to make the card get banished instead, which is also very powerful. The real winner with all of these cards is the battle damage. This is a battle damage central deck. When your opponent swings in with one of their monsters, let's say they have a Blue Eyes White Dragon, and they swing into your U-Bell, your opponent is going to be taking 3,000 damage. You're not going to take the battle damage they are. And that battle damage gets doubled when you have Nightmare Pain out on the field. So that's going to be the primary strategy of the deck. In my experience, that's like one of the biggest win cons. You can use Super Poly to interrupt your opponent, stopping them from being able to get their plays off, and then using Nightmare Pain, whatever they have left, whatever scraps they can assemble, they're going to have to swing into your Ubels, or while you have Nightmare Pain, your Ubels can swing into them for the damage. So let's break it down all the way to the one card starter, Samsara Regenerating Lotus. So coming out in a couple sets, there's going to be a field spell that searches this card out. For now, you can use basically any searcher to get out into your hand. Uh, this card is really important because when you have it out on the field, you tribute it off, and then you get to special summon one of the Ubel cards in your deck, like Spirit of Ubel. So that's the first effect, you contribute it off to start your combo. Additionally, while this card's on the field and you have you bell, during your opponent's turn, if they're to activate a monster effect, you contribute this card and it changes the monster effect to destroy one you bell on the field. So it's kind of like a pseudo negate because it literally changes the activated effect, which is very, very powerful. Additionally, if this is the one card starter, how are we going to get it back on the field after we tribute it off to start our combo? How do we how do we do that? That's the third effect. This card does everything you need it to, because as long as you have a Ubel on the field, this card's going to come right back from the graveyard during the end phase. Very helpful, not only to circumvent Ubel's cost to tribute a monster, but it's also going to be able to summon out, in case you have extra bodies, you Ubel can tribute them, and then this is going to be a negate for you on your, on your opponent's turn. Very, very powerful card. So that's what Samsara does. He's probably one of the best cards in the deck so far. That's going to be our starter. We tribute off our starter to go into our searcher, Spirit of Ubel. Now, Spirit of Ubel on its own is a very powerful card. When you special summon it, you get a search. You're going to be able to search out a spell or trap card that mentions Ubel. So you're going to get Nightmare Pain, Eternal Favorite, whichever. Additionally, if your opponent attacks, you can special summon this card out to your hand. Well, like I mentioned before, all of the Ubels... They're not going to get destroyed by battle, and you're not going to take any of the damage. So if they swing at you with the blue eyes, you can special summon this card, and it's going to tank the damage for you. And if you have Nightmare Pain, this card becomes a sleeper. This is an OTK right summon here. Summon out one, and two, and three, and all these monsters, they maybe have 3,000 attack points each. Let's say they swing into battle, they got rid of all of your other cards, but you still have Nightmare Pain. Bam. You just won game. Because when they attack, you can special summon Spirit of Ubel. You're going to get a search that's not really important. When they have a Ubel monster <clears throat> and you swing into it, Nightmare Pain is going to deal the battle damage for you. 
So that's going to be dealing one dose of the damage from here. That's 3,000. One dose of the damage from here, that's 6,000. One damage from here, that's going to be 9,000 damage right off the bat. So this is going to be a very quick card to get some quick wins. Spirit of Ubel is very helpful. Now, we have Spirit of Ubel. We special summon it out. It gets us a search. We're either going to search the trap or the spell. For now, let's talk about the spell card, Nightmare Pain. This is another card. This does your taxes, man. It's unbelievable. Nightmare Pain, during your turn, you can destroy a dark card, a dark monster in your hand or on your field, and then you get to search out a Ubel card. Very powerful effect right off the bat. What you can do with this one card, you tribute this off, special summon out your searcher. Your searcher gets your extender Nightmare Pain. You activate Nightmare Pain. You're going to pop your Ubel. You get a search. But very important effect with the Ubels. Anytime any of them get popped, instead of leaving you empty, they're going to rank up into the next Ubel. So off of one card, you get your title card and you get the two supports. This card is unbelievable and it's going to start all of your combos. So we have our mainline combo going from Lotus to Spirit. Gets you Nightmare Pain. Nightmare Pain searches you out and gets you to extend your special summon. But what if we already had a Ubel in hand? Like, let's say I have Terra Incarnate in my hand, and we summon out our Spirit of Ubel, we get our Nightmare Pain, and I want to activate Nightmare Pain. Instead of destroying the Spirit on field, I can destroy any of the Dark Monsters in my hand. So I can destroy this Ubel, get the card I wanted to search, this stays on the field. And what happens when you pop a Ubel card? It doesn't leave you high and dry, it special summons you out again, another one. So this is how you're going to be able to build your board, using the Ubel pop effect to be able to populate your board. And then during the end phase, some way, somehow, you have a million roads to your Ubel. It's going to special summon out your negate, and that's going to set you up for a really powerful board. Now, your opponent will go ahead and do their monsters, you know, they'll do their thing. They can summon their cards, you know, whatever. You, at any point in time, can use Eternal Favorite. This card is kind of like Super Polymerization, Super Poly can't be negated. This is unbeatable. We always want this card, but when we can't have it, Eternal Favor is a close second. All you do is discard a card, and then you can Fusion Summon. You need to have Ubel on the field to activate it, but this is almost like a searchable Super Poly. You can use this to fuse your opponent's board to Special Summon into the main extra deck, Ubel the Guardian of Love. Now, this card very similar to all the other Ubel cards. Can't be destroyed by battle. Your opponent is going to be taking the battle damage. When they attack, the monster is going to get banished. But the really cool thing about this card is that it also can't be destroyed by card effect. So it's really hard to get rid of. And your opponent's going to be investing a lot of resources into getting rid of this card. They're not going to waste their time touching these cards. This is going to be able to recurse you back your Ubel with its secondary effect. You can either super poly or special summon Ubel. And then this is going to make your opponent swing and choose for damage. So these are very, very powerful core cards. All of them really help each other out. The fact that when one Ubel is destroyed, it ranks up into the next Ubel. And then when that Ubel is destroyed, it ranks up into the next Ubel. And when that Ubel is destroyed, it ranks up into the next Ubel. That is a very powerful and very helpful effect. That effect's going to end up getting even better when we have the field spell. But that's going to be coming up in a later video when we talk about that support. There's a couple other things that you like to use in Ubel, like using some of the Sacred Beast cards. The Sacred Beast support really, really helps out Ubel. It's almost like it was designed for it. As well, I like to use the Unchained package. Unchained cards are very helpful with Ubel, specifically Unchained Soul Lord of Yama. This card is really powerful because when it's in the grave and one of your cards gets destroyed, you can banish it, and then you get to special summon out a Ubel from your graveyard or an Unchained monster, any of your fiends. So, this card kind of like a secret sleeper agent to help out the Ubel. We also like to use some techs. Other burn cards are really helpful. Other cards that help us pop monsters are really helpful. Having other fusion targets for super polymerization is also very helpful. And I like to use the DDD package just to use some uh, really powerful extra deck monsters. So that's the deck breakdown. What do you guys think of the deck? What do you guys think of the new Ubel stuff? Are you guys going to be picking it up when Phantom Nightmare comes out next week? You let me know. I have been playing this deck almost non-stop for, I would say, two or three months now. I am obsessed with it. I love this deck. It is so much fun to play. I couldn't recommend it enough. So every single one of you should go out and get a box of Phantom Nightmares just so you can experience the power of you, Bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.